Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. So I just realized I forgot to tell everybody that the Brooklyn Nets have signed Devontae Kaycock to a uh, two-way deal. He's going to be going back and forth between their G League team and their big club. Uh, yeah, as a Laker fan, I'm very upset about it. I ain't going to lie. I'm happy for him, of course, because he's going to land with another organization that's going to keep him in position to be around legends. And that's an excellent trait. I think he's taken steps to be someone who's deserving of a roster spot. And I was hoping the Lakers would give him the final roster spot. They drug their feet. They let him walk out the door. They will live to regret it. Uh, Devontae Kaycock is a player who has a lot of athleticism and he's developing properly. As far as I could tell, he did some good things in the summer league that showed me he has a lot of power in his body right now. His athleticism is good and you're going to enjoy having him on your team. He's going to boost to their front court. Uh, if he's able to uh, land with the team. And, of course, they have a lot of options. Uh, they, they're in the vet uh, stages right now, so the chances of him coming in and having a real impact aren't very high. But being that this is a COVID-type year, still not everybody's vaxxed. I'd imagine there's going to be some guys going in and out of the lineup for COVID protocol as, as it was last year, and maybe that will open up spots for a guy like Devontae Kaycock uh, to get some minutes on the Brooklyn Nets. So, uh, I wish him well, man. I'm down about this. I hate this. I hate it. As a fan, I can't even lie to you guys. This is, and if you watch my Laker video, uh, you will understand that I was thinking that that you know the Lakers, we're we're, we're chasing something, and of course we want to put ourselves in a position to be, uh, you know, as 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 many have as many veterans as possible. I think a lot of that is politics. To be completely and utterly honest with you, uh, guys just want to see guys win, and. Um, will want to play with guys before they retire. And it's it's great, you know, because it's a beautiful thing, but you have situations like this where a guy like Devontae Kaycock is leaving and you're bringing in a guy like De DeAndre Jordan. That's a bad trade. The Brooklyn Nets essentially just took our young center and we just took their old center. That's No, no, that's, that's, not, that's not how you do it. And I'm happy for the Brooklyn Nets because they're doing it right, you know. And, you, and, and like I said in previous videos about the Nets, they're finding players on the back of their bench to give them the boost of youth that they need so that if anything happens, they can get through the bulk of the season without leaning too much on their stars. And I don't think the Lakers have done enough of that, to be honest with you. We have some youth, but we, I mean, Devontae Kaycock was literally one of those pieces, right? And now he goes to their side. So it's, it's just a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a bad mistake on my team's part, and it's a great decision on your team's part uh, if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan because you're going to like Devontae Kaycock. He's good, um, and he's ready. That's what I'm telling you. He's ready to step in and be a uh, small ball center, power forward naturally, I believe, and just be a paint presence, rebounding the ball and dunking the ball. Um, so, so he's still raw, but he's been working. He's been playing for our G League team for a couple years now. He won the championship with us. He was on that roster in 2020. It's another reason why I'm kind of upset we let him walk. It's like, you do understand we won a championship with this guy, right? Anyway, so I'm happy for him. Uh, of course, he's going to be landing amongst great, great players. He has a chance to win the championships again, another championship on the other side of the coast. He's going to be in New York. I know that lifestyle is going to be fantastic. So for him, hey, you leave it from L.A. going to New York. Opportunities galore, man. Great connections to make in this tenure in the NBA early. All of that's beautiful. I think at this point, uh, you just want to see him get a chance to play. That's what I wanted to see for his sake. I'm also happy he's away from the Lakers uh, in general so that he'll have an opportunity to play because I didn't think he would get it here, even though I feel he should have it. Um, unfortunately, he's landing with another franchise where that might be the same case. But what I know about the Brooklyn Nets is that they don't have a great deal of front court depth, unlike the Lakers who have, of course, Anthony Davis, who will always be out there if he's healthy. They don't necessarily have that. So a couple situations where... A few of their vets, maybe uh, LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin or something, maybe they're not necessarily healthy or whatnot. A guy like Devontae Kaycock may have a more likely chance of getting playing time with the Nets than the Lakers. So for that, this is great for him. Um, but a lot of things have to fall into place. Of course, if he were to land with a different type of team with a bunch of youngsters, there would be a more likely chance of him to play. So therefore, whatever, whatever. But you trade that in for a chance to be around KD, Kyrie, and James Harden. And then be in New York to win the championship. Yeah, I definitely take that. So that's what I think, man. Congratulations to Devontae Kaycock. Shame on you, Lakers. You're playing games with your youth, and that's a dangerous decision to make. Uh, he should have been somebody you retained. He should have been somebody that was your 12th man playing games. So that's what I got to say. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's what I got. Peace.